my name's Will, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make a word problem from a graph. So here, as you can see, we have the graph. On the y-axis, we have spools of thread remaining. We're starting with 10, and that is the y-intercept. Down here on the x-axis, we have dresses sewn. So already we have information about the graph. We know that it is going to be about someone trying to make dresses with a certain amount of spools. So the first thing we write, this, you can make the name up, is Tom is making dresses. We know that instantly. The next thing that is very important, and follow me over here if you will, is the slope. The slope is actually one of the most important things you can have. So if you check here, you have to find two corner points. Otherwise, this will be useless. So find two corner points. For me, I chose 10, 7, and 24. Now, over here you have the slope um, equation, which is m, which represents the slope, equals y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So what you do is you plug in the numbers. So this we have 10, 7, and 24. So you have the 2, so that would be 4 minus 7 for the y change. And down here you have 20 minus 10 for the x change. Subtract those two, and you get negative 3 over 10. And that is your slope. So if you go over here, the next part is describing the slope. It takes blank amount of spools to make blank dresses. So we know that spools is the y-axis. So obviously, the change in y, which is negative 3 over there, will go in the spools. So it takes 3 spools to make 10 dresses. Dresses is the x-axis, so of course 10 which is the change in the x-axis, will go here. And now you have your slope. But there's still one thing missing, which I will tell you now, which is you have to give the reader of the question, or the description, a point to start on. I have chosen this point here, 24. All you have to do is state that that is a point on the graph, a corner point. So what you can write, when Tom has made blank dresses, he will have blank spools left. We should already know by now that spools is the y-axis. So this will be four spools left, and this is the x-axis, which will give us 20. So from this graph and just that little amount of information, we now have a whole description of the graph, which is Tom is making dresses. It takes three spools to make 10 dresses. When Tom has made 20 dresses, he will have four spools left. And that is enough to describe to a reader this graph. And thank you for listening.